Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on. Twenty um, ships in range. This is Dana Broad of the <laughs> transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh. If you, if you like this, we're back here on uh, Star Trek Online. This is our self found solo shuttle challenge. Uh, we're playing the entire mission, trying to get all the way up to the max rank, which is 65, only using our shuttle or small craft. Uh, we will be unlocking um, the ability to use uh, fighters and small craft other than shuttles at, at rank 50. And I will be thinking about going ahead and purchasing a, uh, a fighter ship to be for using for that. I haven't decided which one I want to get. Um, you can play this mission without any kind of outside money. So there's a uh, there's a Zen shop inside the game. You play, you build up your dilithium, you can trade that for Zen, and then gain player market. So you don't have to actually spend real money to get the, the ships. Uh, and you can use regular ships. There's there's shuttles that are they give away shuttles every once in a while for free. There's uh, ones in game for just credits. Uh, if you have been subscribing for a full year, you can get the uh, admiral's yacht. So there's some options there. Um, if I don't remember if I did all that stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for notifications. Set your settings inside the notification bell to get those setting notifications. Uh, if you want to share this video with your friends, there's a share tab down below. There's links to our social media sites. There's links there for you to copy and post wherever you want. Um, don't forget to like the video. It really helps out the channel. And we're going to get started here. Uh, okay. Uh, incoming. Too many ships in range. Yes. Why? I guess uh, we have to be closer. Twenty ships in range. Yes, thank you. Weird. So my objective is to get through this as fast as possible. We want to do like two or three of these missions in, range. In, a, in a row. This is data brought Our... of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Yes. Okay. Oh, we have to hold. Okay, we can skip, but we have to hold it escape down. Okay. Um, I want to get to rank fifteen as soon as possible. So. And look, our buttons work. Isn't that great? And uh, let's do this also. We want to uh, drop that down. We don't want to go that fast because we're using front forward. Uh, using forward. As you can see, as you see, dual beams with the uh, beam overload, pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and max this out. Go ahead and get our shields all the way. On every side. Come on. Let's, uh, If I'm not mistaken, the other one is on the other side of this thing. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm not exploding my ship because he gets too close and his ship explodes on top of mine. So. I wish they fixed these missions so it stopped being like the older mission stuff. Captain, yes. I'm concerned. Yep. Mm -hmm. Beam out. Uh, between this episode and next episode, I might uh, redo their uniforms so they look better. We'll see. We can actually help this guy because we're not a medical officer. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Nope, that's blocked off. Come on. the lag for him. killed him. <laughs> Where's the thing at? There it is. So I might change the F button to my button on my mouse because I think that'll be easier for me to press. We hit an Orion. I'll never let the... Okay, so there's a special way that you can defeat this one. Yeah. I didn't know there was a cast right here. God dang it. That's what I get for trying to do it with my hand. Anyway, uh, for us, it's right here. This is the tactical one. That's the one we have to do. You get the accolade for it when you do it.
Well, we got the accolade. We still gotta find our way through these guys, I guess. It is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a break. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. Let's grab, uh, whatever that is. Come on. We have Klingons. Of course we do. No dip. Now, if you're engineering, you can uh, save the ship. Yeah. But we're not an engineering specialty, so. Wrong way. Use turbo lift. Ah, oh, loading screens. Let me grab my drink while we're waiting on this. My drink disappeared again. Come on. Incoming message. Leave now if you know it's good for you, Starfleet. We are. Rotated the ship. Should be easy, we're right close to her. Tempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. We have a captain. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. The Azura was a trans. I don't say the gap. You saved my crew. There's so if you guys want to read this, I'll, I'll you do saved my crew. Here we so have been having trouble it, with the, when the containment. You saved my crew. Go back to Valar. You saved my crew. 
That's it. Not yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these vertical particles here. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Nice. Congratulations. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and reestablish contact. Okay. Oh, Report we'll back when you've completed your... Do here, aren't you? So we get a career kit for this one, a Mark II phaser beam, and uh, ooh, a phaser cannon. Uh, we would need two of these to switch over. Yeah, so I'd I'd have to do this one twice, and then we could switch over to cannons. I didn't realize you got a cannon this early. That's really good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So w let's go ahead and plan on doing this mission. And then we'll probably end up calling an episode there. And then I'll do this mission again off camera. Then I'll head back to um, uh, the Starbase. And... Uh, Hook these up onto the ship and get a uh, rapid fire on the ship instead of uh, do, uh, overload, beam overload. And uh, then we'll have our actual beam boat there. I didn't realize you got one these early. This is not like we don't want phaser cannons. We want something else, but this will work, right? Yeah, so let's do that. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and transport. When I'm going from mission to mission inside of Hidden an episode, danger work in space, it's just going to be that much faster. And the threat of Klingon attack and, and has made forward. even the most stout-hearted so reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. Also, anytime we have a uh, little. Uh, Narration right there from uh, Leonard Nimoy. We, we're totally going to be listening to that because uh, those of you who don't know, Leonard Nimoy passed away a while back, and uh, he's one of my favorite characters on uh, Star Trek. So <laughs> that's the way it is. <laughs> Res research rescue. Shields up. Prepare for combat. Let's go up. No, let's go to Max. Speed this up a little bit. That's what we're talking about. Speed up. Back up a ways. There we go. Now let's turn back around. Put 
Oh, that one was coming at me, wasn't it? Oh, no. I hate that. I switched too early. Where's he at? How did he get behind me? Not now. Um, I want to get this over here real quick. All of this uh, resources we're getting here is going to help us in the long run. Right, we should be able to scan from here. Ooh, there's a beam down in it. I forgot. I forgot we already scanned it. Uh, we need to get the fire extinguisher. Let's talk to the scientists here. The Gorn. They just stole the first sign of trouble. The Gorn. Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the two years ago. The Gorn. The Gorn have ex- The Gorn. Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. So we need to come over here, and we're going to get this. Now that we have that, we can put out fires. Why is there... Oh, yeah, we got to take out the containment fields. Now, the first thing we want to do is take out the fires. Klingon invasion was a blow to Gorn's self-determination and identity. Yeah, there's some lag right there. You know what? I think this is the cause of the lag. Yeah. It's trying to auto in manual at the same time. Also, before we do anything else, I forgot to do this. Um... Put the new upgrades on our on our uh, ship. <laughs> and uh, do do we need? Uh, yeah, we can upgrade that. And then we can have Mark Two. And then you guys can have some armor now. There we go. How to do it? I was in a hurry. Yeah, that's what it was. There's the fire. There's an accolade for putting out the fire. And if you don't put out the fires first, it won't give you the accolade. So make sure you, you get all of the uh, fires put out. And don't stand in them. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I Come guess on, one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though. It damages your sense of trust. Um, I'm going to let them go do that. I'm going to do these uh, fires.
Yeah, just keep throwing rocks at me, it's fine. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? Thank you. Oh. Enemy target on center. I forgot one. I thought I looted this box. Ooh, he dropped something good. What was this? Plasma assault rifle. I kind of like the one I'm using, so we're going to give this to Torres. That's the last of the time. There's another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Okay. Let's go get them. This can be a rough fight, so uh, be mindful of that. I wouldn't advise you to get too close to unless you got a real powerful ship. Yeah. Still kind of hit us a little bit. That's fine. Go ahead and get our sh shields back up to maximum. Not yet. This is the dig site that our team. If we just. If they're shooting, I'll shoot this. Uh... Mm. 
Okay, so what we're doing is trying to take the shield damage. Shield power is dropping! What is going on? The team yeah. here found remnants of a precursor civilization so. that may be a relative of the Gorn. Let's do this one next. Our understanding of Gorn evolution nah. is woefully inadequate. Nope. Are they even offspring of the preservers? Yeah. It's gonna take us too close to the shield. I don't want to do that yet. The Gorn territorial claims we'll aren't first. entirely it's without merit, the outside edge. but they would displace billions of people. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. Come on. Increase the power to the shields! Come on. Next. <laughs> now, when we get to the center here, there's going to be a big guy there. I think I'm going to save my seven on this particular uh, group. Just use regular shots. And uh, that way we can use it on the uh, big guy up there. You guys will see when, when we're, it's one of those big ones that throws the rocks at you on this kind of like a boss battle. Yeah. Now, when you're crouched like that, it does actually have an effect. So you guys don't understand that. It uh makes you better defense against uh, ranged attacks. But if, if melee attacks come up and hit you, then you are uh, take more damage from melee attacks, less damage from ranged attacks. That's one of the main reasons you want to do that. So here we go. I'm gonna throw a, a thing in here. And uh, I want to take out these guys first. There we go. Seven. I'm going to keep on the move so he doesn't hit us as often with the rocks. One to beam up. There we go. no sign of the other all right so they've killed everybody else off there was really no reason to come to this planet <laughs> love those missions so you are meddling in affairs we will not allow so our objective oh they have them on the ship that's right yeah they have them on the ship now, i believe this ship here lays mines There we go. That's it. There's the mines. Target shield has failed. Hull integrity below 75%. Uh, stop now. Come on. 
Give me a red light. Thank you. If the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have... Congratulations. You have just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. Click here to Skills learn more. Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space combat and ground combat. Yep. Select any skill to see a full description of the benefits gained by purchasing it. Every... For each skill purchased, you will... Unlocks sometimes offer choices upon reaching certain... Powerful abilities can be earned by spending 25 or more of your space points in a... You will not be able to earn enough... Okay. So, we want to start out with... Uh, it, it would be good to have capacity and hull upgrades. Okay, so this is for any energy weapons over here. This is for projectile weapons like uh, torpedoes, mines, that kind of thing. So, uh, what we want first is we want this. We want all of these here, and we're going to go with shield upgrades and hull upgrades here, and then we'll try to get some points here. You only have to spend five in order to unlock this tier right here, but uh, I have a specific build that I like. <laughs> so, um, Commander Burgess, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base this. is under the command of Ambassador Admiral Quinn That's says fine. you're... Um, I'm going to stay here because I'm going to do this mission all over again. Uh, did we get another perk? Ground. Um, health. For right now. I'm going to do this mission again. How you do the mission again is you go here, go to episodes here. We're on the Klingon War here. And uh, this is the one we just did, and you just hit replay. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted be by a satellite that compensates yeah. for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. But, uh, all we it care may about... be that the communications array oh, is in need of repair. Uh, Please make the necessary repairs cannon? to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. Mm, that sucks. Maybe I'll have to wait till tomorrow to do this then. Mm, I hate that. Yeah, that's what's saying, Starfleet right? has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system because all communications years. from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. Yeah. It may be that the communications array is in need Dang, of repair. That sucks. Please make the. It would have been nice to get another cannon. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I don't think we can actually get. Uh, because we're using the ship we're using. Yeah. Rapid fire is here, so we can't we can't even use this yet. We can't even use rapid fire, can we? <laughs> Forgot about that. I am gonna save these till we get two cannons. Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, let's go ahead and get a more powerful uh, photon. Uh, tactical officer? What are you talking about? I'm going to tactical officer. Stop being stupid. And uh, we're going to switch this out. And we're going to go to Recycler here. And no. Nah. Any of this stuff here that says uh, 
zero credits. Go ahead and get rid of those. We can get rid of you too because I got the upgraded version of that. Um, I want to start using cannons. So we're going to go ahead and switch one of our beams out for cannons. And uh, I'll look up, see, see if it's a daily thing. I don't know. It should have let me done done that, so I don't know. <sighs> I can't believe that. I want another cannon. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you subscribe to my channel, send notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, review, social media. If you have tips, tricks, comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel. Use the notification bell. I'll see you on the next episode. I'm going to do it like this, guys. We're going to just going to rush until we get to 15 so we can start, so I can start doing daily stuff. There's stuff that I can do uh, daily on my account every day while I'm off camera, and I can't do that until I get to 15. So, and I don't want to level while I'm, off, while I'm offline. So that's where we're at. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.